Hi folks, good day from Ireland, Jonathan Paris, my name. In this short video tutorial, I want to show you using some WordPress multi-site plugins that we're going to create a really nice user interface for our clients. We're going to get rid of a lot of the clutter that they don't need to see and make it nice and simple for them. And so there's different ways of doing this. This is only one method you can do settings pages with pods and Metabox and uh, what's the other one? Uh, ACF advanced custom fields as well. So that we will get ahead and do this anyway. I'm going to be using a plugin from Michael Short. He's over at wazpro.com products. He has three different plugins here. He has an integration for WordPress Ultimo with Thrivecart. The Blitz Site Settings Pro, that's the one we're going to be discussing in this video. And then he has the Blitz uh, Stock Library Pro as well. And so in that plugin uh, that you can share images from your master uh, website to, to the other sites on your network. With, uh, with the Thrivecart, I'm not very familiar with Thrivecart at all. I'm not exactly sure what that does. Um, so here we are on the Blitz Site Settings Pro. What does Michael say here about it? Streamline your customer's onboarding interface with simple and easy to use website settings from within the dashboard. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be setting up that nice uh, panel that I showed you there. So what else does he say? It's important that your customers can update their contact information and branding on the site easily. Yeah, yeah. So customers have the ability to edit different things and yeah typically they'd have to change the interest in the customizer and page builder so yeah so we're simplifying things for the client basically and making the onboarding process a lot smoother if you'd like to learn more about this we actually have a facebook uh, group over here called was pro developer network and we're we're up to 851 members now so grown steady there and if you have any questions about this whole wordpress multi-site thing you'll find us in there and ask away some questions so to get started anyway oh yeah michael has what does he have here uh, it's 97 dollars for the annual license and At the moment, there's also the for 297 that you can get the lifetime license. And I think that's only going to be that's limited for a period of time. That lifetime license is going to be finishing up uh, in a while. Best to ask Michael himself about that over in the over in the WAS uh, group to find out about that. But anyway, back to this. So when you install the plugin put your license in and then you have the configuration here so on the website um this is one of my demo sites and everything that i'm experimenting and testing with and stuff so you'll get a new menu item called site settings here for the client and then they can put in under business details, their identity, their contact information and their social links and they can change typography and colors and they can style the button as well. And then you got some SEO features to make it nice and easy for them as well. So what I'm going to explain to you anyway is using these short codes here. We're going to put all the short codes into the template so that we can display this these details on the front of uh, the website so we can i was just saying there as well yet so say that we don't want to give them the ability to change seo settings so if i save that it should our seo tab was there so when i refresh the page there that seo is gone so they don't have that and they uh, I might turn off buttons as well actually and uh, so I've turned that off and the buttons and everything so 
just what we've got there business details typography and colors so um yeah to get started now what have we got there yet yeah. so business details here what I have done is I'm using Beaver, the Beaver Builder page builder and I'm using the Astrid theme and I've under custom layouts I've created a site-wide header and when we open this in Beaver Builder you will see what I've done there and I've used um, I've just used a photo there and the photo module and what I've done is which one is the logo there we can see for the logo under uh, identity there's a short code there and I've just put the short code into the photo URL field there and saved it and that works oh yeah what I did as well you want to under the link URL here I've put the URL back to the, the home page and everything so, so that like on a normal site when people click the logo that it'll go go back to your home page and i've also done the same here with the heading i have the same link there going back to the home page so you can see there that i've used identities there the business name business name goes here and i've used that short code there and i've put that into the heading there so and that should actually be a h1 but uh, it's very big just take that down now so to 24 yeah it'll do for that so we're not going to win any awards with the design of this site i just want to show you how to map these fields really that is all i want to do so if i publish that i just want to go back here now so the contact information I'll come back to the social you can get the idea here um Facebook the, all the short codes are very similar it's short space bar Facebook Twitter Instagram YouTube Pinterest etc etc so control C and just to copy that go back here and if I want my social links in the header, I'll have to find a nice, uh, something like the, where is it now? There is one, isn't there social links in Beaver Builder? There's something. Well, we can put in, put in an icon anyway. So select icon and we can pick our icon here. Facebook just any of these will do and the the link now just wait for a second anyway that oh you have the link so there we are yeah what I've done there with the with the Facebook icon is I've just put in the the short code from from there from Facebook and it just goes into the the link field there and so when we save that and go done that'll work so you can see there you can go on with different icons get your icon for Twitter as such put in the same short code and all that so my my net bit my beaver builder is stalling a bit there for some reason it's lagging a bit today now so where was i now um yeah so you get the idea with the short codes there uh, so contact page would be the same You can see here that I've just laid out a simple uh, a simple contact page. There we go. And over here I'm going to put the address. So what have I actually got there? Yeah, oh yeah, that's what I did. It works well. That for the address there, I address line one, two, 
city, state, etc., etc. Yeah. So what I did was I just in the text module, I just say uh, stacked the short codes. Just say. Uh, do, 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 where are we there now? Yep. And uh, shift return. And where are we there? So we want to go to the go to the city, etc. So I don't need to go through all this. So you get the you get the idea there that that works. So don't publish. And I'll just show you that that's definitely working now. So we'll put in main street uh don't need all just anything at all just to just to show you that it's working there so when we refresh the page it will be changed over here main street only goes so you can see there that we're just uh, mapping uh, connecting up all the fields and everything so where are we now that yeah so our next option is we have typography settings. So I have that set up here with heading one, two, etc. So you can see that like it's pretty straightforward that we can set our default color here and we can set our fonts there for the headings and the weight. And so our font sizes are all there. So we'll uh, We'll just change uh, those two the same and then so this is our global styles for the fonts here and then so if we want to go in here we can actually we can override the, the global styles is the way michael has done i'll just update that there and just show you what i mean they should all be the same color yeah so really simply, just say for some reason we want the H3 different and give it, George would be quite different now, we'll notice the difference. Uh, semi bold and what colors are the others? Yeah, we'll just make it red for the sake of that. So, do 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 now, just, and our H3 tag there has changed. So that's that and there are the different tags for the typography under advanced these are additional classes can be applied to any element to provide a different a different font size right okay and then our colors what's under advanced here advanced use is uh, these additional classes can be applied to any element to provide a different color ah right right so that'll be interesting you can put those classes onto your module under the advanced uh, settings so there we are the color settings team now so and our text color a lot of people gray that kind of off black is very popular for text the background color and we can set the if we go over to latest news over to our blog is the best place that we'll probably see a lot of these typography changes appearing. We can see that our links are all this blue here. So we'll just make them make them a nice uh, kind of green and link hover color. We'll go for a little bit brighter or something like that. So just updated. So this admin panel makes it very very easy for your clients to update their site see there they can change the color of the links they can change the typography they can put in their own social icon links and they can put in their business name and their and their logo so yeah i think i've covered everything folks and just the last thing that I showed you in that uh, image at the start and everything, I'm using the legacy white label WordPress admin theme. And so I don't have it activated at the moment because I wanted to show you the difference when I go to plugins. Legacy white label. 
and you'll see now that there's this is uh, our previous just our vanilla installation of wordpress as such you know so it's pretty boring like and the admin team really spices it up and like and gives it a lovely slick look yeah it makes a huge difference and in and in the legacy admin uh, plugin there's a, a menu manager in that as well so we can turn different menu items on and off uh, based on the user role and we can take out the you can change you can change absolutely everything including the login page you can take all this stuff out uh, in the footer and you can really clean up the top admin bar as well so i hope you learned something here folks and enjoyed the video tutorial thanks very much bye for now